when you have power tools that run on batteries and the life of that power tool running seems to decrease and decrease, it could be due to the imbalance charge of the cells within the battery. This is a Milwaukee 9 amp hour battery. Uh, this is an aftermarket battery. It's the same construction as Milwaukee uses on their own batteries. Looking inside the battery pack, you can see that it's made up of a number of individual cells. Uh, these are kind of double A-shaped lithium-ion cells uh, called 18650s. And they're arranged in both parallel and series. Uh, the parallel, uh, it, it contributes to the capacity of the battery as far as it's the, the amount of uh, energy time it has to disperse energy. And the series defines the total voltage of the battery pack. I'm going to simplify this view, which is showing both the parallel and series cells into this view, which is just uh, the bunching, bunching of the parallel cells. And so all you see is the series cells. What's important to visualize here is you can see the five cells in series. Each of these cells needs to be at the same voltage for the battery to recognize the uh, full capacity of the pack, for the, for the pack to be at full capacity. If one of these cells is at a lower voltage than the other four, they act as if they're at the lower voltage for all of the cells. So for example, if four of these cells are at 4.1 volts, but one of these cells is at 3.6, and the low voltage cutoff for the tool is 3.3, the running time of that battery of that pack is limited by the lowest cell. So when all of the cells drop by 0.3 volts, the battery will turn the tool off. Although four of those batteries still have plenty of capacity or plenty of juice to give to the tool. And that's the issue with imbalance. The goal is to wire up the battery pack so the cells are exposed to the charger as a 5S battery. And then this charger can look at the individual um, cell segments and charge them to full capacity every time and you don't run into this imbalance issue. This diagram shows the wiring that we'll be uh, using to solder the, the balance wires to the battery to build the, the balance harness. This is the wiring uh, setup that you want to have. So this is a balance connector. Um, colors don't mean what they normally mean. So for example, um, on this connector, green is the ground, and there is a black. There's also a bunch of other colors. So you kind of got to ignore the colors and, and go by um, the connector position. Uh, and on the charge, on the balance charger, this is the first position, and that is the, the ground position. So now what you can see is there's the ground position. That ground position goes to the first cell. Then there is a tap line. To the second set of cells, then a tap line to the third, a tap line to the fourth, and finally a tap line to the fifth, which is also the ultimate positive uh, battery location. Now I'm going to check and just check my wiring, but basically what happens is on, on this charger, see the negative position is the first pin and the second pin means it's a 2S and all for this uh, charger all the way up to 6S. We're at a 5S and with this the green is the negative. Just plug this in and now what we should see here is voltages on each of the cells and we 
you can see that on this battery, uh, they're all at about 4.8. This one's at or 4.08. This one's at 4.09. So you can see they're not uh, quite balanced. But my other battery uh, was actually had one cell at 3.6. So uh, this one's better balanced. From now on, I'll be using this charger to charge my battery pack, not the Milwaukee charger, because I'll be using this for the balance charging. So what I did is uh, I dremeled out a small hole in the uh, seam between the two connecting pieces of, uh, of plastic, made it big enough so that uh, the, the wiring actually will, is loose in there, so I know I'm not pinching any wires. For the main charging circuit, you, you still have to do a, a main charging circuit. This is a connector, uh, RC style connector. Um, it's very clear on the pack which is the negative and which is the positive uh, spade. So this is what I did is just made this harness. That's basically the RC connector to a couple of spades and then these just slide in to the uh, appropriate spot on the battery. So this one. Slides into the negative. This one slides into the positive. And now it's ready to be charged. I've got the balance connector, I've got the main connector, and I can charge this battery up and make sure it's balanced. So I built this video just to show what I did. This isn't meant to be instruction to a novice on how to uh, wire or charge batteries. So I'm not responsible for any issues that may come up from someone trying to copy what I did here. Uh, there's nuance in how you charge the batteries, what current you use, um, and these batteries can explode. So be aware of that and take, uh, make sure that, that, you know, you think about this and take any precautions before you try and do anything like this or, or alter your batteries yourself.